use my uh, use as I um, uh, as I go from you know time to time of running the program. So that is one of the, the really interesting things that I can do. Uh, any type of photo that I have here, uh, I can use different, different tools to rate that photo. So this is an interesting one. It was a lot of motion in it. There's some blurriness. I wouldn't give it a very high rating, but I can, write, I can just basically click on this little star here and give it a, a two-star rating. And I can also say that I know that that was actually shot in, uh, in Taiwan or Taipei. I can you know, type that in as a tag and save that for that image if I so choose. Uh, and you see I can, I can basically go quickly through all of my, my pictures and uh, be able to do the same thing with all of those. I happen to like this one a lot. I'll give it a five-star rating. Later on, I can come back and create uh, specific searches by using this thing called the smart collection. I can add a smart collection up here and say, you know, find me all of those uh, images that have a, um, a rating that is uh, greater than uh, three stars and it'll go ahead and it'll find all of those photos for me. I can save that smart collection, come back and use it later. In fact, I've done that for some of what I'm going to be showing you today. Uh, and again, the, you can delete the really bad shots if you want to. You can just hit the delete key or use the delete in this particular uh, uh, right-click menu right here. So I right-click on the photo that I want to remove, click delete, and then it'll it'll verify that I want to delete it. But um, uh, that's the that's the way to get at that particular option. So you can see how folder organization helps uh, to categorize the photos. You can also see that tags. Uh, are useful in the organizer. Tags, ratings, dates can be used to make those smart collections. And uh, so I could, I could uh, be rating my flowers and categorizing them or tagging them as flowers and then come back and say, show me all of the, all of the uh, five-star rated flowers uh, as, a, as a simple example as well. So I'm just actually going to go up and select a demo one folder here. And that selects a number of photos at the bottom. Uh, these are things that I've picked out for showing you some of the features of the program today. So with that, uh, I'm going to just select all of those photos, and I'm going to go into a thing called the Express Lab. Now, Express Lab is designed to make a number of the most commonly used tools available to you make it easy for you to get in and use those tools, make it easy for you to go from photo to photo to photo. So you can see I brought in a number of photos of varying types, uh, and I have a toolbar right here in front of me. And if I just hover over the top of any one of these tools, I can see, well, there's the color balance tool. There's something called the Smart Photo Fix tool. There's something that allows me to adjust brightness and contrast. So it's very easy to, to use these tools. Most most of the tools have something over on the right hand side that allows me to interact with the tool. Some of them actually don't. Uh, they're just click once and it then does its thing. But um, let's, uh, let's actually put a few of these tools to work. I'm going to go ahead and click on this flower picture. Uh, and earlier I was playing with the flower picture and it was uh, kind of dull and dingy. Uh, it was kind of dark like that. Uh, and then I went ahead and I clicked on the Suggest Settings option and it came back with a nice clear view of, uh, of what I should have. I've already saved it so I, I didn't realize that as I went in, but uh, it, it was already brightened up looks uh, looks like what I was expecting to have. Um, I'm going to then click on, instead, I'll click on this, uh, this uh, little uh, picture of lavender here. And in this particular case, um, I'm going to go ahead and use that Smart Photo Fix option again. It's, uh, it would remember that I was using it last time, so that's why it's up over here. I'm going to click on Suggest Settings. It's going to come up with some settings that it likes. If um, if I don't want those particular settings, I can adjust those. I can add a little more shadows and a little more color saturation, pull out the greens just a little bit better in this area. So you see how that works. I'm now going to go ahead and crop this photo as well by clicking on the crop tool. I can actually go and 
and basically uh, rebalance it, get rid of some of the dead parts that I'm not interested. Maybe I'm thinking a little bit more about something called the rule of thirds. I've got something on the left side and something on the right side. Uh, a, little, a little better balance for it overall. Um, I can use this little drop down right here to choose the size of item if I'm going to be printing it. So if I'm going to print a 5 by 7 of this, this will give me the exact right size of rectangle to work with. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to do a free form crop because maybe I'm going to post it to a website or take it out to um, to uh, Flickr or some other tool like that. So you can see how easy that is to uh, to make those changes. I'm going to next click on the uh, motorbike over here. The motorbike is uh, is an interesting study. Uh, it's kind of got, it's a very white color. It's supposed to be a very white color. Uh, and basically, um, it's got a little bit of a cast to it. It's got something because there's incandescent lights in the room that's causing it to come out a little bit uh, uh, warmer in color than it really is supposed to. So I come in and use the tool called Color Balance, and then by just making it cooler, it actually takes the, uh, the image and you can see that it gets uh, significantly whiter. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go into the Brightness and Contrast tool. I'll give it just a little bit more, whoops, not that much, a little bit more contrast, and just maybe a little bit more brightness little bit more yet. I can use these tools. I can run the slider over here, or I can type a number, or I can bump up the numbers slightly just to get the sort of look I've got for the image. So in this particular case, I took it from something that was kind of dull and really wasn't the color of the bike to now it really is what I, uh, what I saw when I shot the photo. So very easy. Don't be afraid. You can just move the sliders around. Uh, if you need to, you can use the undo feature down here so you can get back out of a change very, very quickly. Very straightforward to do. So now with that, um, I'm going to switch over to this particular image. And uh, this is a very uh, interesting aquarium shot. A uh, beautiful sort of sea creature here, and uh, it's it's got a lot of uh, light color. Uh, there was good lighting in the in the in the aquarium that I was taking the picture of this at. But if I zoom in, and I'm just going to left click on the image, and I'm going to roll the wheel here, and you can start to see a lot of what's called digital noise. This was caused by uh, it wasn't quite enough light to get the shot. Uh, without getting some motion in it. So I adjusted the speed of the ISO on the camera. Now that gave me more ability to shoot where I wanted to, but it also caused uh, some extra noise in the image. I have a button down here called One Step Noise Removal. And if I just click that, now this is going to take a couple of seconds depending on your machine and depending on the size of the image, but I'm just going to let that go here for a second. And uh, you'll see what the results of, our, uh, of it are when it comes back. Give it another second. There we are. So you can see that it's a lot smoother in here, a lot smoother in here. Now, it's not all gone, but it's much cleaner. Uh, and now that I've got that, uh, not a lot of that noise removed, now I can go in and do a couple of other things, like maybe click on the Smart Photo Fix and up the saturation just a little bit, pulls up some of the colors down here. Again, the white color and that fluffiness on it, it really, really shows very nicely. So again, come in, play with a photo, cut it, get it to something that you like, and uh, there uh, is, a, is a really good way of, uh, of making the, the image to your liking. I'm going to take a quick uh, uh, cut over here to this uh, photo of a beach scene. Uh, this is a uh, an interesting beach scene. Uh, it's it's a pretty standard beach scene uh, in, in that in uh, the wintertime in Northern California, a lot of times we have some low clouds that come in, a little bit of rain. Uh, so let's look at some problems that we have. It's a little undersaturated. Uh, there's no texture to the sky. And uh, I was standing on the beach and oddly enough didn't 
quite get it lined up right. So if I look at my horizon, the actual water horizon is tilting a little bit. Not very much, but I'll just show you a quick way of fixing that. Grab my straighten tool, and basically the straighten tool allows me to just 